Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock 2! Last time, we ended up doing research on the Brute Splicers, acquiring ourselves a new move, the Drill Dash, as well as getting ourselves a new plasmid, the Hypnotized Plasmid, as well as another of the Power to the People stations. In this episode, we're going to be taking care of actually all of the little sisters. Here's me trying to think that, oh, I can research that big daddy. Well, guess what, Roxas? In the past, you already did. So in this episode, we're going to be getting through a lot of the main collectibles that are actually are in this area in general. In fact, we can get quite a few audio diaries and some new tonics in this area. This is also going to be the episode in which we deal with the big sister and my utter bumbling with it. So go upside here. You can hear the little sister crying still. And we can see a splicer over there. But let's go go over right here, and we will have our next tonic, which is Firestorm. Ooh, I love this one. So, Ryan Industries presents a warm welcome to your enemies. With Firestorm set, your foes on fire when they strike. I completely misread that. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, I am looking at a very small window when it comes to this in the editing program. But basically, yes, this is an interesting plasmid. Basically, what this plasmid does is, when you're struck with a melee attack, you have a chance of emitting flames from your body. And there is a dead cat. Rapture is filled with dead cats. Why is Rapture filled with dead cats and there is not a single dog? Then again, at the same time, why is there no cat enemies in the Fallout games? Actually, I think there's actually a lore explanation for that, but I'll get into that later. But if you go over here, you can hear more enemies around. They're down here. I wanted to take care of them because, you know, I don't want to get interrupted for this audio diary. Because inside here is an audio diary by Andrew Ryan. It is Popper's Drop. So, let's take a listen. Do you remember what you told me, Bill? A marketplace of ideas. That was you. If I submit to the debates with Lamb, we defang her. I have done so. And have you been to Popper's Drop, Bill? Listen. Between each song, these Oblomovs hand out her manifesto. Her face adorns every wall. Saint Lamb. You made her, McDonough. And now, you will convince the Council to sponsor her silence. Which led into the closing of the Limbo Room, completely ruining Grace Holloway's life and leaving her penniless. Man, Andrew Ryan, you're an asshole. But you're voiced by Harmon Shimmerman, so... Hmm... Dilemmas. So, anyway, you could've saw... Could've saw... You could've seen that there was another audio diary that was right next to that one. There's a gather corpse up here that I end up using, so I'm setting up right now for when I do the eventual gather. Anyway, what that one there, which was called Sunday Services, is called, is basically a citizen of Rapture saying that Sophia Lamb is offering Sunday services when it comes to her therapy sessions. So, pretty much, yeah, she had a big, huge following down here. In fact, there was a cut audio log from Augusta Sinclair that pretty much said that because of how Popper's Drop is and everyone was so poor and down and out because of Ryan's vision, that pretty much she's always had a lot of followers in Popper's Drop. The dialogue was cut from Sinclair for some odd reason. For that reason, I still don't fully understand. It's still in the game's coding, and you can find it with its full text scripts, but it was just left out of game. In fact, there were actually quite a few audio diaries that were cut. I believe that in the Bioshock 2 base game, there were about, uh, I want to say, 23 or 25 audio diaries that were actually cut. So, let us do the gather, and while I cut this out, what seemed like the pass for you, which would have been cut out, transitions into me having all of the atoms and corpses everywhere. So, Daddy, let us pick her up. You always save me from They're not that bad. They sort of die easy. So, pretty much during this time, I actually end up getting the most level ups for the thuggish splicers. The level threes for both the thuggish and the uh, leadhead splicers are just more increases in damage. With the... I be, well, no, that's how it is for the Thuggish. I believe the one for the Leadhead Splicers 
is a little bit different. In fact, I believe I get it on camera when I end up doing that in this part, so it doesn't really matter that much to me. So, now that we have that one, we're going to go down and find another of the uh, gathers for us to do. But first things first, I need to heal up after all that. Because one of the things that is annoying about gathers in this game, as I've explained before, is you waste a lot of ammo, you waste a lot of bullets, and you lose a lot of health. In the meantime, though, I ended up hearing a little ding, 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 and there's a reason for that. I forgot something. And I believe I turn around because I can hear it. Did I go back to do it? No, obviously I don't. Well, I'm stupid. So, zap, 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 zap. Ah, here it is. Evade cameras more easily. They're slower to spot you. That is the Leadhead Splicer level 3 upgrade, I believe. Or is that the level 2? I'll put it on screen whether it's level 3 or level 2, ladies and gentlemen. I forget some of the level ups for it. It's easier when it's live commentary when doing games such as this because generally I end up doing more. It's why I do live commentary more or less. So, let us go now to the second corpse. I'm going to be fighting the big sister in that area with the camera where I was just now. So I'm leaving the corpses right there so then I don't have to deal with them. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut to where the next of the corpses are after I kill this person. So, die. <laughs> And watch how devoted Lamb's followers are! There is a time in which you need to think of safety. So now I'm going to cut ahead real quick. So, here we are at the other corpse, and this is actually the one that I keep in. The reason for that is because this is the one in which I actually got the Master Protector one. Children, family. He would turn her from us just as he did to Eleanor. Show this thing what befalls the boogeyman when he steps into our God. And here we have Thug Splicer Research Acquired Tonic Scrounger. That means we fully researched them, which means we have the new Scrounger Tonic. So, Specializing Scrounger is like having a sixth sense. You'll spot things you'd otherwise miss and discover things you'd otherwise leave behind. With Scrounger, you'll swear you have x-ray vision. Very helpful for it. And not only that, I will equip that in Sports Boost. I will show you the trophy you get for maxing out one track, which is, boom, re one research track. It is a bronze trophy for maxing out one research track. I did this all while we were doing the, you know, gather, and I was... It was very convenient that I got the Master Protector trophy in this one, in all honesty. So let us go back a little bit. I should probably censor out that name right there, so then people stop sending the actual Roxas1359 uh, friend requests, because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, my YouTube username is Roxas1359. Unfortunately, that is not my online PSN. Somebody else had Roxas1359 before I did. Please stop sending him friend requests. Please. I'm not him, and I don't think he really likes that. In the meantime, taka -taka -taka -taka. see, I could have used that, and this right here was when I was extremely close. How did I not get hit right there? How did she not get, you know, detected right there or scream? I was very scared at this part, to be quite honest. Now, honestly, you idiot. Use anti personnel rounds. They're immune to it. You have max. Do it. You're an idiot. And as you can see, there's an enemy right there. This enemy was the one I was scared of the most, but boom. And she's done. So, ladies and gentlemen, that means I didn't get hit at all during that. I didn't even get the little sister interrupted, which means after about, I believe, like quite a few seconds, we'll end up unlocking the Master Protector trophy. So please show it to me. There it is, Master Protector, bronze. Well, shit. Well, it's easier to get this trophy in earlier... Well, not earlier, in easier difficulties instead of hard mode, like how I'm doing. But the fact that I managed to get it on hard mode, not only in this file, but on my practice file, I'm rather impressed about that. It is something that is... I don't know. It's, it's something I hold pride with. It's stupid. I shouldn't. So in the meantime, I'm going to take out all my pride on this person. Bye. Ah, yes. Lead head splices. So easy to end up, you know, researching them. All right, so now that we're done with that, we need to go and take her to a hidey hole, which should be, I believe, around this way. Or not, actually. I think I'm not going to be taking her to a hidey hole for a while. Oh, there's a person inside here, and there, it's a thuggish splicer. Whenever you have somebody who's fully researched, 
Whenever you put the camera over them, they will say that you cannot research them, and if you try to take pictures with them, it will say they are fully researched and no more research can be done. So, go and take that little sister to that little hidey hole right there. Come on. You know you want to. You want the atom. You know you want the atom. So, here she is. So, time for good touch. Touchy, touchy. Thank you. You're welcome. Do I get a gift? No, you don't, ladies and gentlemen. You don't get a gift yet. There are gifts still inside this game when it comes to the uh, little sisters, but I'll get more into that into the next episode, which is actually was actually live commentary. So let's go and purchase some new things. So we have some new plasmids here. We have a gene tonic slot, which is obviously a plasmid. Oh, right. So pretty much at this point, I'm just scrolling through. Put on Human Inferno. Put it on. Put it on. There we go. So we have Decoy now. So we have to buy that, obviously. We have Winter Blast, and we have Cyclone Trap. So, let's buy Decoy. Buy it. Buy it, you idiot! Oh, is this me comp Is this me actually reading Decoy? Freeze your foes in place, shatter them into a thousand pieces. Yeah, I know. Creates traps that launches splicers into the air and hurt them badly on the way down. This is something I never use. It's recommended that you use it in the multiplayer game, and apparently you can use it when setting up for, you know, like gathers, but I don't use it. So let's buy decoy, which is pretty much it creates a decoy of you. I never use that plasmid, and we buy that one right there, because obviously I wanted to buy the two useless plasmids instead of, you know, the other one, and spend the rest of my atom on gene tonic slots, because I do not like having atom on me, apparently. Well, no, that's not really the problem. So now that we've taken care of that other little sister that's right there, it's quite easy for us to be able to deal with the rest of this. Since she's just crying right there, so we don't have to deal with her anymore. That is fully done, so... Drill Dash. Gotta love it. It's a lot of fun for the Drill Dash, and... When you have fuel consumption, as I said earlier, that actually consumes a lot of fuel. You can see that there was a Brute Splicer there, though. This is something that I don't understand, and I don't know if it is scripted to be there or not. So if, in the comment section, if you can tell me, that'd be great. When I was going to that other little, that other uh, gather for that little sister, a Brute Splicer ended up spawning. I've played through the practice file, and I've played through this game at least four times. I've never had a Brute Splicer show up inside it. In fact, in this run-through of the game, I've never had as many Brute Splicers as I am actually getting, ladies and gentlemen. Which is funny, because even at this point, I still haven't fully researched the bastards. I literally have one point left, but I'll get more into that when that actual episode happens, which I believe is going to be in the next episode. So in the meantime, let's stop her from crying. Now, you'll know that the glitch in which the big sister will spawn when you end up, uh, you know, dealing with the little sisters ahead of time with the big daddies and leaving them crying. If the little sister is still crying when she is on your shoulders and when you put her down to do gathers, that means that the big sister glitch will activate. That's what I've noticed for it, because I did a few tests on it. I was rather upset that, you know, it never really happened at all the few times I did it in this game. But, oh well, I guess I can't, you know, cheese big sisters that easily. So, there's another corpse over here, but what I want to do is I want to go and buy some ammunition to deal with these gathers. So, pretty much, yeah, this entire episode is just going to be dealing with the little sisters and the big sister, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to skip this for plot-related stuff, you can simply go on to the next episode. Of course, if you're looking for collectibles, then I've already collected some. So, scrounger, which is great when you hit R2, but let's do a gather and cut it out. Dad. Isn't that great? So, Damn straight. So, just loot the corpses. Now, one thing I always end up doing is uh, sometimes I end up, you know, just grabbing things in the body. And whenever I have the scrounger, whenever I have the scrounger tonic equipped, sometimes I forget to hit the R2 button in order to search again. Now, one thing I should say about the scrounger tonic. You might notice how there are certain things that you get in one search, and if you search again, you can get different things. You can only get one of those searches, and if you end up hitting the X button and say there's ammunition in there, and you can't grab it all, so there's still something on their bodies, per se, 
you can't search them again. If you hit the X button one time when there, the search again option disappears. So keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. So in the meantime, we need to go down to our last of the corpses in order to gather from, which is right in front of the security camera that is right over there. Now in this area, there's actually a rocket turret that I completely forgot about. I completely forgot to hack this rocket turret, and I think I actually get shot in the face because of it. Because I am an idiot. Meanwhile, we have cameras right there, so if you end up researching them, let us hack them. Come to my side. Come to my side. You will be mine. So, mine. And, let us grab you, so, you. Mine. And I believe right here is when I get shot. Or when I end up hearing it. Did I get shot? I could have sworn I got shot by the rocket turret, because it's an RPG turret, which are actually a very big rarity in this game, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen. In the first game, I remember RPG turrets all over the place. In this game, they're not. Huh, I guess when Rapture Civil War kind of came close to an end, RPG turrets were kind of gone, but oh well. So, let us buy all the ammunition we're going to be needing, because remember, after you end up dealing with this, you're going to have to basically get the little sister rescued, and after you end up doing that, what's going to end up happening is Big Sister comes. So something's shooting me, and I'm wondering what it is, but let's do a gather real quick and cut it out. So let us rescue her now. That was fast, right? Yeah, I know. Some people might not like it that I'm cutting them out, but they just waste time in all honesty, ladies and gentlemen. It's the same thing. It's just a mook rush. So I hope you've ended up, you know, stocking up on everything before you ended up doing that. Because Big Sister's coming, and she's going to kick your ass. I know she does it for me. I hate her. In the meantime, I actually have the worst placement ever of what's going to end up happening with this Big Sister. I will actually say, ladies and gentlemen, I die. In fact, it's the first death in the project. So, where is she? I'm thinking she's coming through there, through there. Nope, she's right there, so... Take on the research camera and start researching her. Pretty much, the more you research her, the better it is. And as you can see, I hated my life right there, so I just tried to throw some ammunition at her. Ow! Ow! Give that back. I need that. So pretty much just keep firing. And there we go. We have increased our math. Eve and Big Sisters are immune to... Are now vulnerable to armor-piercing rounds. Unfortunately for me, my Big Daddy fodder gun is not ready for me yet, as I don't have any. And see that Big Daddy in here? to throw the goddamn little sister gun at me. No, you're not gonna throw an atom syringe at me. See, right here, I am being goddamn careful because of that fucking Rosie right there. One thing you never want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is piss off a big daddy inside of a fight with a big sister. It's not pretty when that happens. So, here she ends up doing that. And, as you can see, she ends up... Uh, good thing my turrets ended up killing them, but for right now, I need to kill you. Come on. Die, 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 die. What makes me really sad about this big sister encounter is that actually, when you see how much health she had left by the end of it. Now, surprisingly, she didn't stab me right there. I was surprised she didn't. Ah, right there. Whenever she does that, that means she's grabbing someone right there, and that makes her vulnerable, but she'll end up regenerating health whenever she does that, so keep that in mind. So I should have been paying a lot more attention with this, but, oh well. She's in the water. Oh, she's out of the water. And now she's gonna throw shit at me. You turret, you idiot! I die. Nope! Ow! Now look at her health at the end of this. She has one hit. And there we go. So, we died. And as a result, you have died. You're being revived out of Vita Chamber. There is a trophy in this game that is actually a gold if you play through this entire game without using a Vita Chamber. But every time that the big sister, you end up dying to them, they will end up going through this whole, you know, scripted scene again. They actually don't regain that much health. So keep that, keep that in mind. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. But actually, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end it off right here because this episode ends with me killing the big sister. So this has been Roxas1359. And next time, I'm going to meet you guys at the Sinclair Deluxe so we can take care of it. So, have fun with killing!